Hello everyone. In this video, I will tell you the what are the amines. In my next video, I will tell you the preparations of amine and what are the chemical properties of amines. So let's start. What are amines? I think you all know what are amines. Amines are organic compound which contain. NH2 as a functional group. Okay, these are the organic compound which contain NH2 as a functional group. Now, it is assumed that amines are the derived from ammonia. Why? Because ammonia formula is NH3 and amine formula, I will give you the general amine formula, R NH2. Remember this formula, this is enough for amines. Here R, here R represent alkyl or aryl group so what is the general name of amines alkyl amine or aryl amine okay just remember these things now i will give you some examples example number one CH3 NH2 very simple formula if you remember this you can name this compound also alkali in place of alkali means methyl ethyl propyl butyl these all come under alkali so this is methyl alkali group methyl and amine so it's so simple the name of this compound is methyl amine now another example c2 h5 nh2 what is the name of this compound so let's see alkali this part is alkali and this one is amine so I will write this one is amine and you have to know what is this. I think you all know this is ethyl. So the name of this compound is ethyl amine. Isn't so simple? Yeah. So next example. CH3 NH now CH3. What is the name of this compound? Here two methyl groups are present. So dimethyl, this one amine. Okay. Now classification of amines. I think you all know amines are of four type. Classification or types. First one, primary amines, another one, secondary amines, next tertiary amines and last one is quaternary amines okay now i will get, give you one one example of each for primary amine example is c3 h7 nh2 c3 h7 nh2 this is 
propyl amine now secondary amine examples of secondary amine c2 h5 means two molecules of c2 h5 and nh this is diethyl amine tertiary c2 h5 three means three molecules of c2 h5 and n name of this compound is triethyl amine okay now the example for quaternary amines c2 h5 whole square 4 means four molecules of c2 h5 this is tetra ethyl amine okay i gave you for alkyl amines hai na i gave you example for alkaline amines only so now i will give you examples for aryl amines so did you remember this formula rnh2 this is a general formula of amine i already told you r may be alkyl or aryl so i gave you the examples for alkyl now i'll give you some examples for aryl also first example what is the nomenclature of this amine the nomenclature of this compound is phenyl amine this is primary amine example for tertiary nomenclature of this compound is diphenyl amine this is secondary amine now example for tertiary amines nomenclature of this uh, compound is triphenyl amine this is tertiary amine so these are the examples of um, aryl compound that's all these are amine thank you for watching my video